All right, Julie, here we go again. This is one of my favorite times of the year as we anticipate what's going to happen. Why should we be excited about this season of Big Brother? Well, it's 16 brand new people. So new people to fall in love with, new showmances to see blossom, new people to root maybe against, you know, a, a new like favorite villain. And it's the 24th season. Anything can happen. I mean, it took us 23 seasons to become like, to have this historic season last summer with the cookout. So who knows? We always say expect the unexpected and that is the beauty of this show. Just for the record, by a unanimous vote. Can you see Xavier, Xavier, Xavier. You want, you got all nine votes, Xavier. <laughs> Do you think the cookout forever changed Big Brother and that people now are really wary of everybody? I think it did. I mean, I think every season you watch, you know, good moves, bad moves, mistakes, and what gets people to the end. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. definitely a model to go by. Now, can you all get along and find like a group of six that will, regardless of differences in personalities, stick to your word? Mm -hmm. You always say expect the unexpected. What is going to be unexpected this year? Give us a little hint. I'm not asking you to give it away, but just give us a little hint. All right. Our challenges are next level this season. I mean, and you're going to see that on premiere night. It's a 90 minute premiere and it's going to, as soon as people get in the house, they're going to play new challenges we've never had before. And then we're going to show you a crazy first live eviction show. It's going to be an eviction night like we've never had before. I mean, people who were like real gamers, you know, back in the day, maybe season six, seven, eight, it's a whole new game. Yeah, I don't know if those people would do as well today. It, it's so much harder, Big Brother, this year, more than ever. You will forever be linked. You're one of the few people who will forever be linked with a show, you know, that had a long run. What does Big Brother mean to you at this point? Because it is your baby. It's been a real journey. You know, when I first started um, 24 seasons ago, it was reality TV wasn't what it was today. And I had a lot to learn along the way. I received a lot of criticism and um, a lot of it was, you know, right on the money. <laughs> it didn't feel good, but um, I've gone through like lows and highs and we have, I don't know, we, we have, withstood the test of time because um, a lot of shows have come and gone but like I I've changed as a person it is my baby you know things that I cringe at um, that I did on the show you know back in the early seasons I just wasn't comfortable it, I've grown up on the show myself mm -hmm. so I love it it is my baby and someone told me recently I'm the only host of the show because it's it's worldwide it's in many yeah. countries. I'm the only host that is the original host still hosting. So, you know, Chenbot is like the energizer bunny of Big Brother. <laughs> you know, and it's so funny because people say Chenbot, but Chenbot was actually perfect for if you were reporting on news from the White House or if you're reporting on something going on. You know, it's like that was the news part of you. Well, that's old school news, yes, you know, today. Right, right. Yeah, right? right. People bring their own opinion to the table, which is not the way I went to journalism school to learn how to do it. But I digress. Um, yeah, Chenbot, that's why I was the Chenbot, because like, I didn't want to show favoritism. I didn't want to show my opinion. I was just there to drive this train and be the conductor and get from point A to B and C and D, you know? And that was it. And it made me laugh so hard when someone came up with that name. I was like a robot. It was just like, but first, but first, but first, but first, but first. So, <laughs> served it. All right. Um, what is there anything? You, what do you like most about this new house? What I like most about the new house is the new characters. You know, I love seeing people develop because, like, opening night, I go in and I have my opinion on everyone, and I love to be proved wrong. It's like, boy, that person really sold themselves as X, but they're really Y. And yep, then, seeing, yep, yep, yep. you know, and I and I love and I love seeing the showmances. But what I love even more is after it's all said and done, finding out people got married and are raising families. Mm -hmm. We haven't had one divorce. We've had so many successful marriages come out of Big Brother because think about it. When you live with someone for, you know, in this pressure cooker condition for three months, 
you are always together. Yeah. You're going to see their best and their worst, and you know what you're in for, and you will have gone through something that is so unique to the two of you. That is the glue that holds these couples together, I think. No surprises. Here's my question, Julie. Would you ever, is there a chance that you will ever go in the house? Would you ever do it, try it for a celebrity version of it and try it? Is there any shot? No, I mean, maybe, maybe like a dozen years ago. I know Julie wants to win and she's expecting it. You can't let her win. Don't sabotage her. Yeah. If she wins out of house, it's going to be no fun in here. No. You know me, I'm a team player. Four of us have formed an alliance. Me, Sarah, Leah, and Holly. Oh yeah, we're going to bring her down. But like, as I was talking about, these challenges are so hard now. I don't know if I could physically take the challenges. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know how I would do. So, and you know, I'm a straight shooter. I I cannot. You know, it's not in my nature to lie. And I think you need at least a little bit of that to get far in this game. So I'm not cut out for it. In no in no way. This year three of doing the show while you know in the pandemic style. Um, what changes this year? You know, I'm sorry to say that we still won't have a live audience, um, you know, so that that's a bummer, uh, you know, for better or for worse. I mean, we were the first show that went on during the pandemic, the, the yeah. beginning of the pandemic. We were kind of like a guinea pig test run model to see how other shows were going to get back into production. So it's, you know, constant testing, constant staying in your own pods. And if you think about it, when we started 24 years ago, mm -hmm. Big Brother was kind of made for quarantine. It is a show where people are in quarantine, right? Yep. Once you clear all the tests and you're in the house, you're locked off from diseases, outside world, everything. <laughs> so it was the timing worked out well for us. Also, what does it feel like being one of the powerhouses of the summer? Because now the challenge will follow you guys, right? They will they will ride your wave. Yeah, I mean, it's very flattering, you know, to still be here and to be the lead in for new shows to launch um, and to help promote. I love that the challenge has a bunch of big brother house guests from seasons past, many from the cookout and people from Survivor that you love and know and Amazing Race. It's, it is very flattering. 28 CBS reality titans are ready to compete in one ultimate showdown. <laughs> big brother. There's no back door in. If you get thrown in, you gotta win. I'm up for the challenge. I can win this game. Can you break down one more time how this first eviction will be the craziest one we've ever seen? The first eviction show is not going to be traditional. And who ends up going won't be, it will be a surprise. I'll just put it that way. It won't necessarily be who you think is in either person who is in danger. I may have said too much. <laughs>